As I was thinking about the, the presentations from the last hour, especially those related to scripture, I got to thinking that perhaps in the excellent chat discussion that's going on simultaneous, that maybe those of you who have read books or accessible articles related to biblical issues and, um, and queer matters, uh, if you might sort of post there, say, you know, if I, you read this book and you really like it, I recommend this book or that book. Um, I think it'd be great to have some resources for people who want to dig deeply, maybe not quite as deeply as Lori's able to, to go as a Hebrew Bible scripture uh, scholar, I should say. But um, if you wouldn't mind, if you've got some uh, books to recommend, please put those in the chat. And uh, Keegan says she would even be interested in putting together a bibliography. That's what happens when you got a librarian in the group. You got someone who knows how to get things done. Thanks, Keegan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was thinking uh, as we before we get rolling here, uh, Alexa, we didn't sort of uh, talk about this earlier, but um, maybe uh, we, you and I could talk about some of the reception and things that have happened since the publication of the book. So since it came out, what was it? Maybe the last week of April, the last 20th or something like that. Yeah. Um, some of the things that have happened. Last night, we mentioned, for instance, uh, some of the work that Kara Jo Hudson is doing uh, with Spanish translations using ChatGBT. Um, and what are some other things that you'd like to highlight uh, that have emerged since the publication of the book? Yeah, one of the huge projects that another one of our contributors has also undertaken, Forrest Fisk, who was featured last night, um, he is um, recording himself reading all of the essays and posting them on YouTube as a for, so, for the, sort of um, DIY audio book, <laughs> which I think is a really great way to um, add some accessibility to the book and is quite an undertaking. And if contributors want to read their own portions, um, I believe Forrest is, is um, coordinating that as well. Excellent. Forrest also had the idea of having a couple of Facebook groups, one private, one public. Um, those groups are called Loving Nazarenes, I think it is. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to be a part of the private group, that has a subtitle, something like Book Contributors and Friends. And uh, you can just, you know, um, um, invite yourself. What's that called? You can ask to be uh, included and, and uh, one of the moderators will include you in that uh, discussion. The other one is, of course, open to the public. So it's been fun to see the camaraderie that, de that de has developed, especially in the private group, uh, mm -hmm. some powerful posts and people contributing there. Absolutely. Um, there's also going to be, uh, Keegan, help me out here. Uh, there's going to be a meeting at or a, a meetup at General Assembly uh, for those who are going to go on Saturday. Uh, Keegan, can you give us uh, any details or you should have asked? Yeah. Yes. Um, we're going to meet on Saturday at 4.30 p.m. So it's um, right before, not right before, but like before-ish the evening, Saturday evening worship service, which I think is at 6. Um it's not really anything formal. We're just going to like get together, hang out, meet each other. Um, I'm planning for it to be in the convention center just so it's easy and we can all find it. Um, there should be um, a Wabash ballroom. If it's open and available at that time, we will just sneak in there. If it's not, we'll just mill about nearby because if you've been there, you know that the hallways are big. We'll all be able to find each other. There's some of us like me who's a rookie. I've never been to General Assembly, so uh, I cannot believe that. But I'm very excited <laughs> for you. It's so much fun. Yeah, good. Well, so if you because you know if you walked in the building, it would all burn to the ground. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So if any of you are planning to be at General Assembly or live in the area of Indianapolis and want to join that meetup on Saturday, the 10th of June, is that right, Keegan? Uh, sorry, I'm, she's saying yes. Uh, sorry, okay, yes. great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, please be a part of that. Um, there's other things going on. If I if we've missed some of those, would you uh, put some of those things in the chat box there to alert us and others about activities? <laughs> 